In our earlier recording, we have learned what are logarithmic functions, what is a common logarithmic function and what is a natural logarithmic function. We have drawn the graphs of the two. Now we are going to apply logarithmic functions in economics. We'll see some of the applications, some very simple applications of logarithmic functions in economics. So one is growth rates. It, it really helps us uh, to convert the function in terms of logarithms and then try to denote them in terms of growth rates. So what is an instantaneous growth rate? That is a percentage change, percent rate, percentage rate of change of that variable. Okay. Well, that would mean that percentage rate of change divided by length of the time period. So in case if there is any variable X, then the, how, how do you find out the growth rate of X? Generally, what, what you do is that uh, supposedly you want to find out growth rates of X between time T naught and T1. So what you do is that you try to find out what is the value of of x at time T1 minus what was the value of x at time T0 divided by the num divided by the elapsed time that is T1 minus T0. This is the way you find out growth rate okay into 100. This will give you the percentage change. Now what you do here in in case of uh, in case of uh, derivatives that is, suppose there is any variable x, okay, then the percentage change in that variable is given by dx by x divided by the, the elapsed time period. dt is the elapsed time period. Now, how can you use logarithm in this? It's, it's easy to use logarithm in this case. Say, for example, you want to find out for log of x. So, what will you do is that you take up the derivative of, uh, you, you convert the function into x into log of x then you take the derivative or the differential of log of x which is nothing but 1 upon x dx okay that is your numerator here then you divide this by dt sorry not this then you divide this by dt it means that you are dividing this by dt so that would mean dx by x divided by dt. So this gives the percentage change in in the variable x and this I have done for variable y. Now supposedly in case if we have the variable which is like this okay there is there is a function yt equals to ut into vt okay so you have yt is equal to ut into vt this is the function which is given to you so what you will do that you will take up the logarithm and you, and you need to find out the change in or or the growth rate in y so log of u into v is log of u plus log of v so it is log of ut plus log of vt hmm? so you take up the derivative which is d log of yt you take the total differential of both the sides that is d log of ut plus d log of vt. Then what you do is that you divide this throughout by dt. You divide this throughout by dt. And what is log, d log of y? That is 1 upon y dy. Here you have divided by dt. What is d log of u? 1 upon u. Sorry, it should look like u. It is looking like v. 1 upon u du by dt. What is d log of v? It is 1 upon v dv and then you have divided by dt. Okay, which is nothing but what you have is dy by y. What you have is dy by y divided by dt. Here what you have is du by u du by u divided by dt plus dv by v divided by dt. So what you have here is y dot equals to u dot plus v dot. And this is what you have done here. Okay. So this is how you apply and you can, you guys can apply it here also. Supposedly in case if you have the function, what we have done is that we have taken the function y is equal to u into v. You can take up the function y equals to, um, 
whatever u by v you can take up the function what else um, y equals to u to the power a where a is any constant greater than zero how will you find out what is the growth rate in y in that case so all of these things you can you can play with so this is one of the application of the logarithmic function in the next recording we'll try to see the application of logarithmic function in per capita growth rates